step four. Can everybody just do your thing? Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you could get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded then... Let me see it very well This big one That big one is 5,000 Hey, oh my goodness Just like Hey, it's inside. And I like that it's really black. Inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more Even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins Pierce my heart straight through Good morning guys Good morning Good morning guys Oh, see my morning face see yesterday i went to the office and i walked from the office yesterday so i i guys i mean Lagos is so free right now like you can literally get to where you're going to within 30 minutes i was just so happy yesterday i got to the office like just like that just like that so um i guess it's because um number one on the list um students and no more students on summer break so definitely <clears throat> excuse me guys so definitely the road um the school buses and people going to pick their children from school right um they'll definitely be at home so people that are going to work will have <laughs> people that are going to work will have a free road to drive in, to drive on right so that was my case yesterday i got to the office really on time yeah and again second on the list could also be it's not could also be it is the um the increase in the price of fuel right is it keeps skyrocketing every second so people are just going to places that matter i mean same thing with me guys like there is no there is no time to kind of drive around town or frivolities or just engage in things that don't engage you <laughs> okay so there's no time to keep um just driving around town and burning fuel and burning fuel excuse me and burning fuel so um that's it if it's not important people don't go they save that fuel they keep it for more important things where they have to their mandate to appear like yesterday i just definitely have to be out to work so that's it today is friday and 
but i'll be working from home today obviously I'm still on my night way so <laughs> so yeah i will need to kind of get myself ready for this morning and then get on my system yeah so what again guys what again what again i got back really late yesterday yeah i went juggling jaggy yesterday perhaps i'm late to the entire story but yes and uh, one thing i actually learned about this um this movie jaggo jaggo is that um i just you, you know are they, they is there a day day jamie latif but yeah i see people know latif he's the person i'm talking about is please so don't don't worry don't worry about the pronunciation i'm learning that so you know latif right um one thing i learned in the movie generally is that people like there's so much words like there's so much power in the words they say when they're going to fight they say they're fighting with their charms and also <laughs> they're fighting with their charms and also with their um with their strengths right then that made me realize that almost everybody everybody we all have different charms right we may not it may not be a charm but then we all have a covenant with a supreme being we all have a covenant with god we all have um if you are not aware that you have you have this charm of your own right that means you do not acknowledge that you have a supreme being who also guides over your own life. So when 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 they whenever they are going to war or maybe they are fighting, you will hear them calling <laughs> the son of this, the son of that, the son of the Iroko. <laughs> All that being said, guys, I enjoyed the movie. I learned that um, I've always known, right, that there is power in spoken words and you have to keep these people keep saying it like regardless of you could if for those that have watched it right you could recall when he was so guys i'm back yeah um as i was saying that right you could recall when he was placed inside the coffin i was thrown inside the oh where is that coming from Okay, and was thrown inside the coffin. Sorry, you could recall when he was placed inside the coffin and was thrown inside the river. He kept screaming, Oh, Iroko, son of Iroko. <laughs> he was saying a lot of things. As he was saying, them, I was just feeling so much shiva, right? Or my, I was feeling the shiva in my veins. I'm like, Jesus Christ, like if people are not saying things, like if you're not declaring things when you're in trouble, if you're just when you're in trouble, even every day, oh Jesus, it, it means that perhaps you're not aware of the supreme power, supreme being upon your own life. Like people always know that where they are coming from, like there is a root or something. So in the case of this um, Latif, right, he's aware that he's the son of the trees, he's the son of the forest, he's the son of the Iroko. He's the son of Helen. Whose daughter are you? <clears throat> daughter of the Most High. I woke up this morning. <laughs> I was watching a movie to you. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Don't mind me. I'm being a bit hyperactive right now. So I was watching that movie to you um, <clears throat> around 1 p.m. Sorry, 1 a.m. last night, right? Yeah, because I was on and off. I submitted my assignment yesterday. I was running on a deadline. Yeah, so I had to. I I began it uh, earlier the day, and then I finished it last last night. It was just something that kept me really busy all through yesterday. So that was it. And so I submitted. Immediately I, fin I submitted my assignment, and now decided to start watching <laughs> the Jago Jago. I mean, I've not seen myself binge watching Netflix for a while, especially this year. I think this is the first time I'm been watching on. I'm watching a Netflix movie this year because, guys, I felt like I have been so serious with my life of lately. Like, why? Why? Life is not that serious. I feel like I'm waiting to complete this and more things are coming up. I'm waiting to complete something before I could indulge on things that I will engage on things that things that give me a little bit of fun, right? But. <clears throat> It seems they're never going to come to an end. So I'm just going to find a way to um, incorporate, incorporate all these things together, right? And it's true. I'm also missing you guys. I've not even been, I've not been, I've not been posting. I've not posted in the last few months because um, 
I had exams and I also I was also running um, I was also running my MBA which I'm still running right now but I'm not going to stop that for you too Priya uh, I think I found a bit of a balance but I'm not promising you guys a back-to-back series of videos okay yeah but for now thank you guys so much i mean thank you guys i i, I haven't even told you guys that i've been monetized Ooh! okay that should be on a separate video not on this <coughs> jaga jaga vlog okay it's not jaga jaga vlog <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> right so <laughs> so guys um that is it right i i enjoyed the jago jago movie so if you guys look really closely you will see that i'm really breaking out which was also something that discouraged me from vlogging in a while i'm really really breaking out and it's getting really bad like my skin is really dull right now it's extremely looking dull it's not looking bright it's not looking clear it's not looking clean and um, i have a very sensitive skin i know and sometimes i've actually come to realize that um the the outburst the breakout sometimes is as a result of my hormones right like when my hormones kind of skyrocket or they're not a bit um the way it should be right my it comes up immediately on my face yes yeah, so i, I i've gotten some I've gotten some supplements to be working with that. Why I intend to visit Hello Perfect because right now, guys, I just have to visit Hello Perfect because this is crazy. It is crazy. Wait, let me show you guys again. You guys can see. Let me show you. So, is is that that's it's crazy it's crazy so i need to visit hello perfect see guys please if you should not skip my ads <laughs> guys please don't skip my ads please please don't skip my ads oh my goodness okay let me come back to guys please don't skip my ads please see guys please don't skip my ads okay um bills have to be paid <laughs> <laughs> and I visiting Hello Perfect is going to is not it's not going to be a walk on the park, but I would have to. I'm also going to take you guys along the entire journey. So today is Friday. I my intention was to book my appointment for tomorrow, right? But today is already Friday and I've not booked the appointment. So that was because earlier I was skeptical because I have deadlines on my assignments, which I need to clear it up this week and i need to prepare a uh, research paper for my monday for monday right and this is some at work so i, I it's like a, a kind of a jam-packed activities for me so um, tomorrow will not be working for that yes but definitely next week saturday is going to be it so um i'm also not as fair as i used to look and i know all this is as a result of um hyper pigmentation so um possibly when i go to hello perfect i could remember last year what i had was um, i had two sections of um chemical peel one section of the pigmentation they use cosmelan one on me and then i went home with cosmelan two to apply for the next seven days after that and the last one that i had was the m plus section and that m plus was the bomb you see once you're done with um chemical peel because chemical peel what i understand it to be disclaimer guys i am not an esthetician okay <laughs> okay but what i understand chemical peel to be is that um it helps to reduce the actives that's the active pimple that you currently have on your face so when that has been drastically reduced and is under control and you already just have the scars then you can now go for um the pigmentation so sometimes um sometimes the chemical peel your first chemical peel might not just do the entire work so you may want to go to go for two sections of corrective acne treatments right 
prior to before going for um the pigmentation you see guys that the pigmentation is the bomb like the moment you use cosmelan one just that you should note that um it's to make your face really really red and swollen because um for cosmelan one i had to be on that for like 12 hours and my face was really swollen as at that time that was last year and after that everything just begins to peel effortlessly okay then the organic pata pata of them all is the M plus section, right? So the M plus section now kind of makes everything look so supple, soft, smooth, um, brighter, beautiful, and it's just it's all. But guys, see, these processes are actually very expensive. And for now, because I know the treatment doesn't happen overnight, but I'll be going with chemical peel. Uh, I, I guess that's what I'll be going with. I don't know till I get to the clinic next week and then um, Till when I get to the clinic, right? When I get to the clinic, the esthetician will recommend to me I'm just maybe thinking off the top of my head. So that's it guys So guys, um, I want to leave you guys now um, Just for now, right? I have a meeting by 10 a.m. today so i need to freshen up for that i have to put a lip gloss my, my lips were so dry so i have a meeting at 10 then <laughs> guys they started big brother niger oh, oh my gosh i could remember last year my old channel was disqualified disenabled my old channel was disenabled because of um because of big brother niger see guys you see this hyperpigmentation they just give me they just give me a cold spirit to film you can see they give me really cold spirit to film what else guys so as i was saying right i digressed earlier i my channel was disabled last year because of um big brother niger see guys it was something that I, I i didn't know how i got over that but i'm glad we are over that now and we are in this new space and is safe and i'm being very very cautious yeah so if you are one of those bloggers or that i'll take bringing up back to back news on big brother niger i know there is a way you guys do go about it but when you're taking content directly from the big brother niger tv sorry you're taking content directly from the bb niger channel and you're putting it on your platform on your youtube channel without uh, perhaps maybe watermarking or making it like just very few seconds or perhaps you're yeah without doing that then the channel might be really prone to getting disabled soonest one thing you should know right is that it's going to when you start making videos of big brother niger because people want to know what is trending and they also want to know other people's opinion regarding that right so it's going to um it's going to bring people to your channel it will definitely drive a lot of people to your channel your views will skyrocket your youtube analytics will be really good and um number of subscribers will really go high too right but sometimes if you're not checking your emails you may not even be aware that um, youtube is already sending you mails on possible copyrights which could result to a strike you guys you know okay so just be very cautious okay so your hard work of building your channel over the years will not just go off because you digressed into big brother niger and you didn't go about it the right way okay so um i have a meeting i'll see you guys bye
You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted, you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through Got issues in my head. I like you in my bed, but you keep me on red. Oh, hey guys, everything good is morning. like a test. I better not text or I'll come morning, up to you. Good morning, guys. Um, at the filling station, I need to fuel this car and I need to get into the office. It's 6 55 already, 6 55 a.m. So that's it. If you're not in Lagos and you're wondering the reason why people are. Uh, hello somebody because i'm filming guys someone is looking at me <laughs> you can't just literally feel without people see if you want to be a content creator to a very large extent you will need to be a bit of fearless or a bit of shameless <laughs> all right there's no problem guys i don't like the eyes they're just looking awkward maybe they'll come back later okay hey guys good morning i'm at the office right now i'm at the car park actually i came to park my car then chicky 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 i'll be going to the office i don't know i wake up with feeling really really happy very happy so i mean it's going to be a very bright and beautiful day amen it's going to be a bright and beautiful day a productive day in the name of jesus christ amen 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 see you guys if you're filming in lagos or you're a content creator a youtuber a vlogger any of those right and you're making other videos be ready for people to look at you in an awkward way i could remember when i was filming at balogu market the day i went there it was like people are literally like is this person actually a serious person but I feel like most people here in Lagos are already aware that there are lots of content creators and sometimes they're really conscious in the sense that when they see you with your phone or your camera, they're like, please, I don't want to see my face right there. <laughs> you get what I mean, right? So um, that is it, guys. Uh, I was speaking earlier at the petrol station where I went to film my car and this guy there was looking at me in in an awkward way like he was constantly his eyes was just gazed on me and i'm like okay i think i'm making some people uncomfortable perhaps i should just um wrap up really quickly right and that was it guys mm. welcome to a day in the life of it's not a day in the life of don't mind me i don't know what i'm saying right now i'll meet you guys later bye bye i've been avoiding makeup of lately right i've been avoiding heavy makeup so much because of acne and because i'll also be going to hello perfect i'm going to take you guys along with me when i go to hello perfect so i'm just on that on that side of mild look mild makeup just looking like zero to no makeup actually so it's all well hey guys so um i'm still on my way home right i branched at this grill and sewer spot let me show you guys let me show you guys i brushed at this grill and sorry i branched at this grill and sewer spot to buy just to get grills right and head home i will take it as dinner i'm very see my exhausted face i'm extremely tired actually so tired already 